Hello Davy Crew, we are getting off to a late start today. It is lunchtime already. Um, we had somebody coming over to the house this morning to repaint our bathroom ceiling. If you remember a long time ago, I don't even know if we talked about it, I was huge and pregnant and um, our neighbors upstairs had a leak and water was literally pouring through our bathroom ceiling. So that finally got taken care of today. I didn't see any damage, but they wanted to repaint it anyway. So whatever, that was up to them. Um, so we have some things to fill you guys in on. And if you don't like listening to me talk, skip ahead because we're going somewhere really cool tonight and I don't want you to just like click out of this video because you don't want to listen to me talk. So just skip me talking, go to the fun place that we're going tonight. Um, but I want to fill you guys in on a few things, so let me set the camera down because it's kind of a lot to talk about. <laughs> don't hit me, don't. <laughs> okay, first thing on the list. I don't know if you guys watched a couple videos ago. Josh had a little rant about staying positive. Um, we mentioned in that rant that our plans are pretty much changing, like it's pretty official that they're changing. I had mentioned um, in a video that we were going to be moving to his mom's house, living in the main house, she was going to have her own space, and then we were going to be renting the tiny house down below. That has completely changed, that is not happening. Um, I honestly cannot tell you what is happening. I have no idea. Thank goodness I never like gave 30 days here or anything like that. Um, so, as far as I know, we're living here until there's a new plan. Um, so it will be months, you know, um, which is totally fine with me. I love where we live now. Um, I have no complaints about where we are. Um, Josh is close to work, so it just it works out fine. Um, Josh's mom is going to be listing her house for sale, and then there will just be a new plan. So I don't know what that's going to be. Second thing I just remembered is that we need a new intro, and I wanted your guys' opinions. Do you like the intro we have now? Should we try to do something similar, but just include indie? Um, or should we try to do something completely different? Do you like the song that we have now? Or should we go back to the song that we had before this one? Um, so many questions. I don't know. What do you guys like? Um, I do like incorporating that we live in San Diego. So I kind of want our intro to have like a San Diego feel. That's why we filmed it at the cliffs um, before. So let me know what you guys think. Give me some ideas down below. Um, shoot. I always do this. I sit down to say something and I completely forget. Oh, duh. I had a brain fart. I don't know you even know how I forgot what I was going to talk about because this is like the main thing I was going to talk about. When Indy was born, I was planning on getting my tubes tied right after delivery and it just did not work out that way. After she was born, I had gone hours and hours and hours without eating. I could not wait any longer. She was born on the 4th of July, so it was a holiday. They were understaffed. It just like didn't work out. So I did not get my tubes tied at delivery. So now that brings me to about three months postpartum and I am getting my tubes tied on Monday. I guess I shouldn't really say tubes tied because they don't tie your tubes anymore. They are literally cutting out, like removing my entire fallopian tubes. So getting pregnant is like a 0% chance, which is what I want. Um, and I just wanted to kind of like say a couple things regarding the surgery um, in case you guys had questions or anything like that. I'm trying to think of questions I've gotten in the comments in the past. Um, but I just want to say that growing up I always thought that I wanted a big family. I was the oldest of five kids. I absolutely loved it. My childhood is what made me want a big family and I always always thought that I was gonna have at least like four kids. Fast forward to now, it's a very strange feeling to um, feel so satisfied with two kids. I did not think that I would feel complete with a family of four, but I surprisingly do. Adoption is not 100% out of the question. We are still interested in adoption. That might happen in the future, but it might not. We don't know. I'm not gonna like say yes or no on that. 
Um, we're open to it if it feels right to us. But I am 100% done birthing children. So no more biological children in our family. It really bugs me because I get the comment a lot like, oh yeah, you finally realized what it's like to have kids and now you don't want a lot of kids. And I just want to put it out there that my kids did not make me not want a big family. That's not my reasoning at all. My reasoning is that I have horrible, horrible, horrible pregnancies. I am lucky that I get pregnant easily, but my pregnancies are so rough. I am so, so sick for like the first half of my pregnancy. And then the second half of my pregnancy, I am just unbelievably uncomfortable and in pain. I just don't like being pregnant. So that is like a huge factor. Um, reason number two is partly financially. It is really hard to provide for a lot of kids. I mean, we're struggling right now to provide for two kids. And I really, really, really want to be a stay-at-home mom, at least when my kids are little. When Scout and Indy are both in school, I plan on working at least part-time. But for now, while they are little and they're at home, I want to be at home with them. So that's another factor why we are like good having two kids. Another question we get a lot of is why is Josh not getting a vasectomy? Why is he making you do the surgery? Blah, blah, blah. I just want to say, Josh does not want a vasectomy. He says that he will not do it. And he's heard a lot of horror stories. And um, that is that. Josh has always, always made it clear that it is 100% my choice to do the surgery or to not do the surgery. He was completely fine with me just like being on birth control or um, us just trying to avoid pregnancy if that's what I wanted. But you guys, I do not want even, even like a half of a percent chance of me getting pregnant. I do not want that. I'm serious that I never want to be pregnant again. So this was my choice 100%. I am willing to do this surgery. I am willing to just for my own peace of mind um, get this done and just like never have to think about it again or worry about it again. I just wanted to tell you guys that my surgery is on Monday so it's about four days away um, and it's really bizarre, really bizarre. Yesterday was my pre-op appointment. I was going to film, it just got totally crazy, it was during Scout's nap time and it was just chaotic so I never pulled out the camera. But um, it was September 27th was my pre-op appointment and September 27th last year is supposedly, supposedly, the day that I conceived Indy and so I just thought that it was really ironic that last year on the same day I was conceiving a child and then this year on that day I was having a pre-op appointment to like mom. literally never be pregnant again. Being a mom is like something that I wanted more than anything in the world and I am so happy for the two girls that I have. I wouldn't trade them for anything. Um, of course, like looking back, my pregnancies were worth it to get them, but I'm just done. And so um, hopefully all of that makes sense to you guys. I'm nervous. It's my first surgery that I've ever, ever, ever had. Um, so of course I have like a little bit of nerves, but recovery is super easy. At least that's what they say. I guess I should add that they just make three tiny incisions um, one in your belly button and then two little ones on the sides. Um, she said they're like smaller than half of an inch or something like that. So um, recovery should just be, you know, maybe a week of being a little sore. I can't lift anything heavy, but it should be fine. So anyways, thank you guys for listening to that little rant. Let's continue on with the vlog. Wow. One hour monkey, one champion head. He never, never bumped him head so he fell asleep. <laughs> Scout wants to show you something that she made the other day. I did not vlog on this day and we did this pretty late at night, but she's super excited about it and wants to show you guys. <gasps> wow. 
This looks so cool, Scout. Turn it to the side. Check out that roof that Scout did. That looks awesome. What do you think you're crying about? What do you think you're crying about? Huh? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Sneaking M&M's? Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> Well, good morning, you guys. <laughs> At 2 o'clock, Scout, Indy, and I went and laid down. I read Scout a few books. I zipped Indy up in her little stingray suit. I don't even know what to call it. Um, and we all fell asleep. It was glorious. Huh. I never take naps with you guys. Scout's still sleeping, so Indy and I are just hanging out, and I'm trying to think of what to do for dinner. I hate figuring out dinner. It's my least favorite part of the day. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Josh is home, and remember how I said I hate thinking about what's for dinner? He's taking care of it. <laughs> when did you say that? <laughs> like right before you came home. Because I didn't know what to make and I forgot about this. So Josh is making a roast, but he's doing it in our Instant Pot. I don't know if I've ever showed our Instant Pot before, but um, this thing is pretty amazing. And Josh likes to use it. I don't know how to use it. So take a look in there. And how long do you think this will take to cook? I can't remember what I put last time. An hour? Like an hour would be completely tender. I usually like to like do it even a little bit more because then it like things are like crazy broken down. Yeah. But we're still waiting for Scout to wake up. She has been sleeping now for three and a half hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, going on three and a half hours. So I probably need to wake her up. Indy and I came and woke up Scouty. <laughs> Indy looks so funny. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the molded hands. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. So sweet. I think she trying to kiss me. Maybe. She trying to kiss me and me. <laughs> She's trying to grab your dress. <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah. Scout, can you tell the camera where we're going? Yeah, we're going to an ice cream place. An ice cream place? All right, let's go. I see monster. We just arrived at a place called I See Monster, and this place was recommended by one of Josh's coworkers, and you guys will see once we're inside. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Getting ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't eat any. She didn't eat any? No. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get right here. What are you talking about? I I want to walk over. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and say goodnight. That was a really fun little ice cream place. Oh, 
We'll probably go back. I was kind of sad that I got chocolate. I did it for Scout. I really wanted the Thai tea ice cream. So next time, she loves that's what I'm so gonna get. Sure got it. I know, I should have. Also, big shout out to Rena because she's the one that yeah. recommended it. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.